Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today's video is gonna be a 2019 trends video. So I'm gonna be chatting a bit about some of the trends that are definitely gonna be around. And then also a bit of it might be kind of forecasting. So the things that people are kind of predicting will be around for this year. I've been looking around online and everything. And then also I feel like I always pick things up just from kind of social media and just from like street style watching and things like that as well. So because it's a new year, I thought it would be nice to kind of outlook at what might be coming up, pieces that could update your look, colours that will be more on trend this year. You don't have to keep up with the latest trends at all, like personal style is not about trends, but sometimes trends can be fun to kind of um, be aware of, play around with as well, and just see if you can incorporate it into your personal style. Um, and obviously a lot of these will be on the high street, but some of them you might be able to find um, in like secondhand shops and charity shops and things. Like, you know, you don't always have to buy new things for the new trends and obviously a lot of the time the new trends are mirrored in older trends and older years as well um, because a lot of the time trends are recycled so overarching themes that I think are definitely going to be around still for this year is for one trying to show and portray your own super individual style and kind of your outlook I guess so that's things like really bold logos branding and um, like Dior um, hair clips, like Fendi bags. Obviously we saw a lot of logos last year and logos are definitely gonna carry on to this year as well. And another big thing I think for this year as well is gonna be color, bright colors and mixing colors and things like that. I feel like because we're in such a heightened political climate as well, fashion this year is gonna reflect that. In the way that it is like the silhouettes and the really strong looks, I feel like at this point where a lot of us do have a lot of strong opinion opinions on things i feel like that's reflected a lot in in the types of styles that are popular at the moment and that are going to be popular for this year also what i feel like i've seen a lot in more street style and more like social media influence as well a lot of the style from the like late 90s early noughties coming back <laughs> which I'm not sure about. Some of the things are fun to bring back, but some of them I'm not as into. Um, but there's definitely a bit of a call back to like early 2000s, which was such a fun time, but not an amazing time for fashion. <laughs> That's what I reckon anyway. So I'm gonna go through everything that I've noticed that I think is gonna be around for this year and also what I what the kind of forecasts are as well. I think I'll start with accessories that I think are definitely gonna be around for this year. So the first thing, and I feel like this is fun to start with because it's a very accessible one as well. It's very easy to get your hands on these. Um, hair clips, I've seen them everywhere on Instagram. There's Gucci ones, Dior ones, I think there's all sorts. Um, you can get them on ASOS as well. So I'll link a few of my favorite ones down below. And then in that same category, hair bands and hair bows are another really fun one to play around with. And I think that this will look gorgeous come summer because can you imagine like in your little bikini and you've got uh, like your hair up and a big bow in the back with like a silky scarf or a silky ribbon or something. I think that's so cute and I haven't played around with hair accessories really in a fashion sense for a long time. So this year I think we're gonna see quite a lot, like I said, of things that um, echo the early 2000s. So that's things like, I've seen a lot of kind of like sheer um, mini dresses, small bags as well, so small kind of baguette bags. There's obviously been the Dior saddle bag everywhere last year. Small Fendi bags, and there's been a lot of those little kind of bead bags as well. So I've seen them in Topshop Urban Outfitters. So another quite accessible one actually, just to accessorize with. So with this for me, like a lot of them I don't like. There's only a few that I like really with the, the small bags. And I feel like when you've got a really mini bag, it makes you look bigger. It's like, it's true. I have seen as well a few people say that low rise jeans are gonna be on the comeback. I am not a fan of that. Nope, no, do not happen. Let's not let that happen, okay? But yeah, low rise jeans. But obviously they're really not flattering when you've got hips and you've got like a bit of curve here. So the next one is an overall color or slash colors that are gonna be around this year. And I think these are gonna work mostly for like spring, summer. A color that's supposed to be huge for this year is a golden yellow or um, like a marigold yellow. So quite a warm yellow and it looks quite inviting. It's quite pleasing to the eye. I quite like it and I think also it looks great on like a tan skin for summer. So I'm really excited for that. Um, and I'm excited to not just wear yellow 
with like a maxi silky dress or something um i'd love to see it when it's like a full suit like a jacket or something that could look cool oranges and coral sort of shades as well so if i can find the exact colors i will pop them into the video so you guys can see what colors exactly i mean um but yeah um coral's not my favorite favorite color to wear but it can look amazing um in the full swing of summer because everything you know like coral makes everyone look good i feel like it can be really flattering colors are a really easy way to just buy sec the to buy them second hand so if you want to go and like hunt down items of that color um for like much cheaper in a more sustainable way as well you can do that guess what <laughs> cycling shorts apparently are staying <sighs> At first I didn't like them, then I bought myself, then I bought my own ones, tried it out. Um, I don't, on me, I don't feel like they're the most flattering thing. But I've seen quite a lot of them on the catwalks for this year and they they seem to be a bit longer. So kind of just above the knee, they cut off at. There was a Chanel look on the runway where it was like long cycling short styled with I think a blazer. It actually looked quite nice. Um, so, you know, if you want to dabble, maybe the longer cycling short will be a bit more flattering i don't know um but i was kind of hoping it would go this year to be totally honest but it seems to be staying around let me know what you think about that one <laughs> tie-dye is a big one for this year and i think it's a big one because it's the most kind of unusual one to pop up this year so dior also did a more kaleidoscope kind of slightly more refined version of it as well which i'll show you guys in this video um but i think in more of a street style way i for me anyway it will be tops like tie-dye t-shirts i'll probably end up like tying them with a pair of jeans um i'm really again interested to see how it's going to go down on the high street and i feel like there'll probably be a lot of people just making their own because it's a lot more creative and more individual than buying one that you're going to see everyone else with because i feel like tie-dye is such a personal thing because obviously that's where it came from people expressing themselves with their own individual patterns so that would be interesting to see i wonder if that happens i feel like this trend will divide people quite a lot because a lot of people probably won't be into it whenever i see tie-dye it always makes me feel happier and more um free and things so i it has really positive connotations for me so i quite like it but also i feel like the tie-dye trend might be a bit of a reflection of how in a world right now where you know it's there's quite a lot of tension things are quite heated i feel like it's a way to feel to channel like your freedom your happiness i guess it's like a visual way to be a bit more of a free spirit with your style. Something that's also sticking around definitely for this half of the year anyway is the more neutral coloured items. So the gorgeous beige tones, the brown tones. I thought I'd show you guys this skirt that I recently got from Topshop as an example. This kind of satiny, silky skirt. Very easy to wear and easy to style tones because they all look good with black, white, like black, white and any shade of beige in, in the middle. And it looks very luxe as well. So uh, this is, these are colours that I love, love playing around with in my personal style. And I feel like these sorts of colours and tones are on Instagram a lot. Is it just me? I feel like everyone is wearing these on Instagram. It's very like Instagrammable. <laughs> yeah, I love them. Can't wait to wear the skirt. Another trend that's gonna be around this year is the utility style. So that's things like cargo pants. This is one that I always feel like I'm gonna be able to pull off and then I get something and then I'm just like, I don't know how to style it. <laughs> On the catwalks, I was seeing a lot of the like cargo pants, cargo trousers but that are more tailored and a bit more streamlined um, and they're a bit more tapered. Some were more straight leg, kind of like those naughties ones with the tassels no thanks <laughs> but then there were more tailored ones in a more kind of grown-up way um also they were styled a lot with shirts so wearing quite a um tailored shirt tucked into a pair of also tailored cargo trousers um so you could play around with that this year and for this year they're going to be around in a looser cut boiler suits i love boiler suits i've already seen a few of them in top shop actually so they're coming through quite early sorry there's a hair in my eye um crochet has also been seen around i really i love crochet in the summer so i'm really excited for this one to be around um i feel like it's not always the most flattering but vision i just love how it looks and again it makes me think of the kind of tie-dye 60s 70s um feel with the freedoms last year as well there was a lot of the crochet cohorts like the top tops and the bottoms you can find them on like pretty little thing and etc so 
um, yeah, I guess that's coming back around for this summer as well. And lastly is bows, and I think I kind of touched on them because I was saying about the hair accessories, like bows in our hair and things like that. Um, so there are a lot of dresses on the runways as well with like big bows, with it being a big feature of the clothing. Um, and then also you can go, you can go with bows on your accessories as well. For me, I'll probably go with it in my. I'm going to try it out in my hair. And I love, like I got a shirt, a blouse recently with a big pussy bow in the back. It's a really nice feminine touch to add because a lot of these other trends aren't super feminine, which I quite like anyway, because I, I really like mixing up like androgyny with more feminine things. I think it's gonna be quite a playful year. I think they're all my things to touch on actually. If you have any of your own predictions or anything that you've noticed, you think that is gonna come round, let us know in the comments and we can all see what's gonna be around and like chat about it if we like it, if we do not like it <laughs> and I'm not excited about it. So I'll leave examples of all the things I touched on down below of things that I found um, like on the high street already. I'll put them down below. I'm probably the most excited for the golden yellow eye clothes um, and I'm probably the least excited for long cycling shorts or more cycling shorts. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't and you can follow me over on Instagram and Twitter as well and that's it from me. <laughs> thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!